Welcome to the Writer's Corner. Our learning target today is I can support my claim with relevant evidence. And we are working on argumentative writing. This is Carol. What Carol doesn't know right now is she's about to get a big writing assignment from her writing teacher. Now this is Carol. Carol is stressed. Carol doesn't know how to find evidence or write an argumentative paper. and She just feels like she's drowning in paper and reading. So here at the Writer's Corner, we're going to see if we can help her out. We're going to help Carol by starting off with finding some evidence for her paper, one of the most important steps to making sure you have a good evidence-based paper. The first step to finding evidence is to look for it and find a lot of it. The next step would be to organize the evidence. Then you'd want to check that you have enough good evidence. Finally, you want to judge it to make sure it's appropriate evidence. But today, we're going to start off with how you can find a lot of really good evidence for your argumentative writing paper. You can remind yourselves of these steps by thinking fudge. So the first step, finding a lot of evidence. The first thing Carol needs to ask herself is, what am I trying to prove? This is also known as your claim. Carol's claim is about the coal use in China. Oh, there's Carol's claim. Carol's claim is China needs to reduce its dependence on energy from coal plants. Wow. Basically, Carol's claim is saying that coal plants in China are bad. Now that Carol remembers what she's trying to prove, she needs to figure out where is there information about her claim. Where is there information where cold plants are bad? Well, luckily, Carol has a phenomenal reading about coal plants in China. So Carol's going to go through the reading. She's going to reread it closely. And she's going to mark anything in the text she thinks will help her support her claim. She's also going to write briefly on the side how she thinks it's going to help her support her claim. Why does it show that coal plants are bad? So for example, she read through and she noticed that coal plants and the combustion pose an immediate threat to health. In fact, they, have, they contribute to 400,000 premature deaths. So she underlines that and she explains on the sideline that that's something that she thinks she can explain as contributing to health problems. She also noticed that in this paragraph it explains how these coal plants also cause acid rain that poisons lakes and rivers and forests and crops. She notices that this tells you a bad effect of coal plants is pollution and problems with the environment. Same with the next line, carbon dioxide causes global warming. As she goes through, she continues to search for different pieces of evidence she thinks she could use to show that coal plants are bad and to prove her claim. Another piece of evidence she found in this text was that China uses more coal than the United States, the European Union, and Japan combined. This shows her that China uses a ton of coal, which she thinks maybe she can incorporate into her essay at some point. Once Carol has found information and quotes that help support her claim, she also wants to check if there are any quotes that prove her claim wrong because she wants to be aware of all the things that she possibly has to argue against. To find which quotes prove Carol's claims wrong, she's going to go back to the same reading, and she's going to see if there's anything in there that shows that coal plants actually are good. So as she deeply rereads, she starts to notice that two people, they used an example in the reading, lived in a mud hut, farmed by hand from dawn to dusk on hillside terraces, which were too small for tractors, and ate almost nothing but rice on a very low income. 
She also notices that after the coal plants came, that these same people had a stereo, a refrigerator, a television, an electric fan, and a phone. She thinks that this is important information because it proves that the coal plant actually gave these people a better life. So she noted that so that later, if she has to argue against this, she knows what arguments might prove her wrong. Okay, so let's check in with Carol. How are we doing, Carol? Oh, Carol looks like she's starting to get it. Okay, so just to remind ourselves what we're doing. The first step you want to take when you're looking for evidence that can support your claim is to find a lot of relevant evidence. The second step you, while you're finding a lot of relevant evidence, you want to make sure you figure out what it is that you're trying to prove, what is your claim. Then you want to find out where is there information about that, and finally, you want to mark any information that proves your claim wrong so that later in your paper you can figure out how to show that your claim is correct and you can deal with any evidence that proves it wrong. That's all from the Writer's Corner.